Okie dokie. Let's continue on and build our vent box. So I'm going to go in here and build our vent box on this end. I'm going to select this polygon, go up to my work plane, and I'm going to align work plane to selection. And as you can see, that aligns that to that polygon I had selected. Now I can go in here and build my cube, and it's going to build it right to that work plane. As you can see, it's right there on that work plane now. I can pull this out like this, my vent box. It's looking pretty good there. Let's reset our work plane. And we've roughly got it positioned now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this up a little bit and adjust it. That like so looks pretty good for now, just roughly in place. I'm going to select some of my edges here. I'm going to bevel in my edges like that right there. Maybe not quite so much. About like that. Okay. Now I didn't bevel my back end there. So, let's see what we can do about that. I'll bevel that edge out like that. Okay. Now let's go ahead, select this front polygon, bevel it, inset it, shift click, and bring it on back. And now let's go ahead and run some loop slices up and down our cube here. Like so. in here and get rid of some of these edges so it won't be quite so bad I need to take these two verts clean do some cleanup every model takes a little bit of cleanup there's nothing you can do about it I'm gonna join them verts like that okay I'm gonna join these I'm going to remove this edge so I can redo it. Let's see here, everything that looks good, that looks good, looks good. Looking a lot better here. Looks like we need to join those. Now let's go ahead and enter a loop slice from here to here. As you can see, that's helping clean up a whole lot. Now we just need to run some loop slices to uh, tighten everything up. So we got one there. Let's run them. Let's run one this way, like that. And let's use our edge tool to cut around. Don't have to be accurate or anything. Just slice it around through there. Like so. That helps that bottom there. So now all we got to do is just one last one. Which isn't a problem. 
this is great because I can show you all it takes a little bit of mesh cleanup sometimes and um, nobody's immune to it okay now we got our vent box it looks like everything's cleaned up fairly well it seems see if I'm missing any nope everything looks good I'm not sure if that's going to help me or not, which it didn't. Okay. Everything looks good. Now we need to add our vents in here. Okay. But first, let's make sure this is the size we want it by scaling it up some more. I'll bring it up about right there. Okay. Now for the vents, I'm going to build us a, a cylinder for our vents so let's go ahead and create a cylinder it don't have to be very big like so maybe not even quite that big let's make it 25 millimeters okay now we got this little cylinder here Let's pull it out. Let's delete the caps. Like that. Now, let's select half of it, like this, by selecting around, and deleting it. Now we got half of it. So let's select it, let's scale it down, like so, and let's rotate it to the right angle and let's take this back in here like so rotate it straight and scale it make it longer let's go in here and look what we got looks like we need to rotate it some more to it straight Make it a little deeper, like so. Let's take it back in. Okay. That looks like we got our first vent in place. Right there. So let's select it. Go to our duplicate tab. Select clone. And let's put like 15 across through there. Maybe maybe it might be too many. And let's take it across. There we go. Actually, I don't like that. Let's do that again. Now we have our vent box. Let's go ahead and attach it to our ankle by selecting these here underneath like so and let us pull them up into our vent box let's select our vent box and pull it on down Maybe we can even put a loop slice around this just to hold its shape. Now it looks like our vents need selected and moved down. Okie dokie. And there we go. Now we've got our vent box with our ankle. And our next project, we will be having the leg come out. Right here. Thanks for watching, guys.